you still in contact with Lauren Hill? I mean, once in a while, you know, send each other texts, whatever. Uh, how do you feel about her constantly missing shows, not showing up to shows? You know, she recently had a show that she was like three hours late to, and then she canceled the next show and, and so forth. This is someone who you knew her before she was Lauren Hill. Right. You, you discovered her, basically. Yeah. So you know her extremely well. Mm. Why do you think at this stage in her career, with the amount of people that love her, with the amount of classic material she has under her belt, that she would pull something like this with her fans? You know, I don't know. I mean, makeup, put on the right clothes. I don't know, to be honest with you. But I think the question should be more like, it's not like people don't know that she comes late. It's not like it's been happening for like a decade now. So you just got to buy into that. If that's what you're into, then you shouldn't complain because you know there's a good chance that she's going to be late for whatever the reasons are. It could be good reasons. I don't know, but I'm just saying I don't think people should complain about it. You should just accept the fact that she's late all the time. Well, there's two choices you have. You either accept the fact or you don't go. But don't go knowing that people have been talking about it for years, decade. Well, a decade now, because this is, what, 2017? It's been happening way before 2007. So anytime you ever hear Lauren Hill's doing a show, every time, anytime you ever hear Lauren Hill's doing a show, it's, it follows by, and she was this <laughs> amount of time late. Am I right or wrong? I mean, a lot of times. M more times than any other artist of her caliber. Here's what I'm saying to you. If she's on tour, unless you follow her and you know she's on tour, you're not going to know she's on tour. That pretty much works for a lot of artists, except for like if you're Adele and she's coming to your town and everyone wants, she's at the Staples Center, right? But... When you hear about concerts or someone in a concert, it's either, yo, this person got shot or this happened, right? With her, fortunately, no one ever got hurt in her concert, but it's always follows by she was three hours late, she was one hour late, she was two hours late, or whatever it is. And I'm not saying it's good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just saying I don't understand what the big deal is. We all know what it is. Let me ask you something. If you know... There's an individual that has one leg. And when you go see him perform, he performs on one leg. And then somebody comes out and says, I don't know why the fuck he performs on one leg. Imagine if he had two legs. Well, the motherfucker only has one leg. So how the fuck are you going to perform on two legs? So why are we complaining about well, Except that Lauren Hill has two legs and she actually could no, but show up on time if she really wanted to. <laughs> but you know this is, she's been consistently like this. Yeah, I remember we had posted up, uh, you know, because you know the memes start after something like this happens. The meme what? The memes, mm -hmm. you know, like a little joke little yeah, 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 yeah. and so forth. And we had put up a meme and it was a text message. You know, it was some guy texting Lauren Hill said, you going to Lauren Hill show? And she's replying, nah, you. <laughs> oh, did she reply to him? <laughs> nah, <Yeah>. you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At one point, because we reported when she did, I didn't even show up at all. And then, like, three hours later, she actually did show up. I, I don't think she ever not show up, but... Well, she, well, she ended up canceling the next one. Right. I mean, you know... Oh, she like, did? Yeah. Okay. I know. You know, of course, you know, you got the whole Kanye situation. He, in the middle of a show, just quit and then just canceled the rest of his U.S. and European tour. Well, so, I don't remember what happened with that, but, yeah. But he don't... I don't think he ever was late, though, right? No. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about... I understand at the end of the day, we're all human beings, shit happens, we have families, we have kids, we have other responsibilities, life happens and so forth. But when, when you are performing at a level like this, you're literally involving the lives of thousands of other people. I agree with you. You see what I'm saying? No, no, listen. Like, like... Not only you got the venue, you got all the workers at the venue, you got the people that work in the ticket offices, and you have all the fans, the people that spent, you know, they're getting babysitters for their kids, 
you know, so they could go see this artist they love so much. And, and they're, they're regular working people that are moving their lives around when if you show up three hours late, my babysitter can't stay this late. She has, a, she has midterms tomorrow, so I have to go and, and cancel and, and go home upset. And, you know, my whole week is ruined because this person shows up late. You're 100% correct. But once again, like I said to you, we all can make valid argument. But I go back to Lauryn Hill... People who are going to see Lauryn Hill are Lauryn Hill fans, obviously, right? Right. And so, someone who's 16 years old is not going to go see a Lauryn Hill show unless that person is being brought by someone else to go see the show. So we have to assume that a large demographic or population of people who go see her show pretty much are familiar with her, right? And so, okay... If you're familiar with her, then you're familiar with the stories. Right. So it's 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 a crapshoot. Like, you know, man. I had a friend of mine call me and said, I want to go see Lauren Hill's show. Can you give me some tickets? So, okay, I called, reached out to her and got some tickets. And um, she said, are you going? I said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool, right? I'm, I've seen the shows. And she, so I said, um... But what time are you heading there? She says, oh, mm, probably like two hours after. I said, two hours after what? She said, after the doors open. I said, but she's supposed to go on at, I think at that time, it was like eight o'clock. She said, oh no, I know Lauren Hill. She, she gonna show up like maybe. I, she said, it's safe for me to get there around an hour and a half into two hours. Cause I know it's gonna at least be an hour and a half before she gets on the stage. So this is someone who knows. She understands, right? But I just hate when people keep saying, Yo, why she's always late? Why she always late? They complain about it. I'm like, well, why the fuck are you going? Will there ever be another Fuji's? I don't think so. That's it. It's done. Because you guys had the block party, the Dave Chappelle block party, right? And that, from what I understand, didn't that just kind of come together, kind of organically? Yeah, it came organically. I think, from what I understand, Dave went to Miss Hill, and then. She's like, well, would you like the food? She's like, shit, yeah, but I didn't even try it because I didn't think that's, that was even possible. So then I think she reached out to Clef, and then I think Clef reached out. I don't remember how, the order how it went, but something to that effect. And it just happened organically. We was feeling good, and we were like, oh, man, this feels right. Let's do it. Dave Chappelle, we're all, we're all with fans of his anyway, so it felt right. And it happened. And it happened. But you don't think it's gonna happen again? No. No. Well, you guys, you guys had a great run. We had a good run. I mean, listen, you know, listen, everyone's doing their thing. Um, I, I, I like to think everyone is happy at what they're doing. I know I am. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. And and this is going to sound very corny, but I have to say it because I'm so grateful for. The Fuji's. Of course. How could you not be? And, 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 well, some people are not grateful. And I'm not saying they're not, but I'm just saying some people just feel like shit needs to just happen or shit happen. For me, I'm very grateful. I'm in a great place in my life. Um, I, I That was a moment that was great. We, we, we tried to you know, do something and kind of like almost happened and didn't. That is a distant past for me. When I'm when I'm moving forward, when I'm looking at rear view mirror, I don't even see that. You know, to be quite honest with you, mm -hmm. I don't because it's just to me it doesn't make sense anymore. You had a lawsuit with the New York Post. It was something that happened that they basically said I was a part of something that I wasn't. And come okay. to find out, I wasn't. But we settled. So I can't get more any okay. more details. Are you happy with the settlement? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, that's what it is then. <laughs> so you're actually working on music still. You got a new song with Young Ma. Yeah. How did that come together? Pros and Young Ma. That's not something you would see every day. <laughs> uh, you know what? One of my men, uh, who I work with, Malcolm. Big up to Malcolm. Um, 
I was working on some record and um, I played it for him because he does my radio and all that stuff. And he was like, yo, man, this record is fire, man. Like, he said, you know who'll be hot on this? Because he happened to be working with her also. He said, young and man, I'm like, man, I love her. He said, let me play it for her, see, you know, what she thinks. Played it for her and it happened. So it was organic. It wasn't like I went looking for her or whatever. It was just, yeah. And she, you know. She had a dope verse, too. Yeah, the whole right. thing about how, how she carries yeah, a gun yeah, yeah. for protection and everything. She was like, hot. You know, I think, it's, I think it's going, it's going to do something, some, 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 something. I mean, are you still focused on music, or is that something that I you're mean, just I, doing? I, I love it. I'm always going to love it. So I'm working on this mixtape, and I'm dedicating it to Haiti. You know, it's a dedication to Haiti. It's not a charity, charity mixtape. It's just, like, representing my set. Like, we're doing some great music, and it's dedicated to Haiti. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like doing it because I love music, but it's almost like a hobby. Not a bad hobby to have. I'd rather have that hobby than some kind of drug hobby. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's what it is, man. Prize, always a pleasure. Thank you, man. Boom.